Hirata Uchiha is the daughter of Uchiha Sasuke and Haruna Sakura. Now, as we saw her unlock her Sharingan in Naruto Gaiden, a lot of fans have been wondering how will she unlock her Mangekyo Sharingan later in the story. Well, today I'd like to talk about some of the possibilities of how she could unlock it. Now, I know how she unlocked her Sharingan in the manga, that it was actually from joy and positive emotion. However, I feel the Mangekyo is something they want to keep the same. It's not just for consistency, at least because it adds a lot of drama when you can kill off a character and then give a character a power-up. So, the question is here, what needs to happen for Serana to unlock her Sharingan? Well, I'm just going to go with the obvious answer for the sake of this video, and that is that somebody she cares about tremendously, someone she loves, needs to die. And really, there are two candidates for this, because they're obviously not going to kill off Boruto, which he's the main character, and they're not going to kill off Miki. So there are two characters that she has a strong connection to. I'm, of course, talking about Sakura and Sasuke. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. I don't see them killing off Sasuke. They've already quote-unquote, killed off Naruto, and let's all be honest, they most likely don't have the balls to, to kill off Sasuke and Naruto, because out of all the marketable characters in this franchise, this is a business, and Naruto and Sasuke are the most marketable. So if you're gonna kill off Naruto, the main character, you have to at least keep a secondary main character around as like a mentor figure to just be there and be badass. So you can sell badass Sasuke toys and posters. Because Sasuke makes more money than Serata and Boruto do. Let's be honest here, people. There are two things I want to make clear here. One, I'm a Sakura fan, so it's isn't bashing, alright? Okay. Two is that... What you need to remember to understand my point is that Sasuke was absent for a majority of Serata's life. And we honestly don't see much interaction between them. We see a couple touching scenes in Gaiden. And then we also see the scene where he saves her in the Boruto movie. That's about it. That's enough of a minimal amount of interaction these characters have. Well, throughout Gaiden and the little bit we've seen in the Boruto movie and manga, we see a lot of interaction between Serata and Sakura. And I'm going to be completely honest, I feel like Sasuke dying would not be traumatic enough for Serata to unlock in her Sharingan. And I also don't think you could really make the audience care as much, at least from Serata's perspective. Honestly, if you were to kill off Sasuke to give Serata her Mangekyo, People would be more like, damn it, Sasuke is dead, that really sucks. <laughs> but if you killed off Sakura, you, may, you can make the audience feel something for the character that suffered a loss. In other words, if they killed the Sasuke, people would be more pissed off. But if they killed Sakura, people would be more like, damn, I feel bad for Dorada. Because out of all the people in her life, she's probably closest to Sakura, so you would feel bad for her. Now, of course... For this to help her unlock him on Gekyo, Sakura will most likely need to die fighting, protecting Serata. So I'm just gonna throw out the only thing I can think of based on what we know about what's currently going on in the present Boruto timeline, which is very little. Maybe Sak Sakura has like 10, 13, 15 years worth of chakra stored up. Three years was enough to let her fight alongside Naruto and Sasuke during the war and survive a hit from Madara Uchiha himself. So, my only thing I can really think of is that Sakura would release her Strength of a Hundred Steel and die protecting Dorada. I feel this is the most likely way from a storytelling standpoint. Honestly, because one, people would be more angry if they killed Sasuke and wouldn't feel anything. But if you kill Sakura, it would be more like people would feel something because a character that they've been following since chapter 3 of Naruto just died. And they would also feel something because one of the main characters of this theory just lost one of the most important figures in their life. It would be very much similar to Jiraiya's death, where you felt something for both characters. I'm going to be completely honest, I don't think many people would care about Serata if they killed off Sake. All people would care about is that they killed off Sake. But guys, what are your thoughts? Who do you think will have to die, or what do you think needs to happen 
fourth Dorada to unlock her Mangekyo of Janengon? Tell me in the comments down below. Make sure you comment. Follow me on Twitter. Link to that in the description box down below as well as my Facebook. Subscribe for more videos. And have a great day, guys.